Welcome back to my final morning for Chance Appraisal on Wednesday, 4th of January with me, Rich Perry, Market Analyst at Anzit Markets, looking at gold. And we are seeing gold drifting higher. Um, we're seeing the dollar just coming under a little bit of corrective pressure. That is helping to move gold higher. Um, I don't necessarily think this is the beginning of a, a significant recovery. Uh, I think this is just a near-term move. It's interesting that um, we're sort of pulled back up higher from the 76.4% FIB retracement. Next on that list is, seven, um, is the 61.8 FIB at 11.72. And I think that um, you can see here that there's overhead supply around that level. The reaction low that we saw in late November, consolidation in early December. And I think ultimately that sort of drives a bit of overhead supply, which ultimately will is likely to limit this recovery um, as the market just unwinds and I think that is just all it is doing 52 on the RSI you could see maybe 55 maybe 60 on the RSI but ultimately I think this is just an unwinding move MACD line is just coming back towards neutral um, it looks as though I mean every time the market has unwound on this RSI sort of 60s seems to be an area to get to so maybe there is a bit of upside potential in this move towards 1170 area um, but I think generally speaking that would be likely to be the limit before you start to see the market sort of coming off again um, because I think generally the dollar will continue to strengthen and gold will subsequently come under pressure. So uh, in terms of your hourly chart you've got a reaction low which is arguably sort of key near term 11.45.70 today's low 11.58 sorry 11.56 and um, yeah, near term positive, but generally speaking, I don't think it's got a great deal to go before we're starting. We'll start to see that um, sort of move, lose a bit of upside impetus. So I wish you good luck in your training today, and I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Thank you.